Hey, this is Shadowstar, and I'll be doing my next review on the Lego Castle Troll Warship. Comes with eight minifigures, and it's eighty dollars. Um, it also comes with a dragon and a giant troll. The eight minifigures are um, a knight, a dwarf, four uh, troll warriors, just a regular troll that operates that catapult. I'll show you that later. The troll commander, and then the giant troll. First, start off with the knight. <clears throat> it's pretty cool. He's got he's got a gray body, but his armor is silver. His helmet moves up and down. Pretty detailed. Um, this armor piece right here that covers the front and back of his body, silver. Pretty nice. Uh, the shield, and then the jousting stick thing. I think that's what you call it. Yeah. Um, next is the dwarf. It's supposed to be the captured prisoner. It goes in the cage. I'll also show you that later. Uh, he has a silver helmet. You take off um, his face. Kind of hard to see, but yeah, it's like that. Um, and then this his weird beard, and then the back his hair. That's all one piece. He just slip on his head and stuff. Kind of weird, but it works. Makes him look more like a dwarf. And then his uh, short the short legs that can't move. Here's the trolls. Uh, now there's like two different types of body pieces there's the body piece that this troll has and then there's the body piece that this troll has um... this troll along with two others um... His body piece is weird because you see these chains and then there's the troll symbol right there in the corner kinda hard to see and then this troll he's got like a yellowish gold plating armor right there he doesn't have the chains or the uh... <coughs> troll symbol on him so pretty unique how they're different like that. And then um, the shields are the same, but it comes with two different kinds of swords, a silver and then this brownish, bronzish color. Here's uh, the regular troll who operates the catapult. He has the same body with the chains and the troll sign. And then here's the commander. He's got this copper colored helmet along with this dark gray pauldron. And he's got this whip. It's for uh, whipping the <clears throat> giant troll so that he'll uh drum faster um and that that means uh when he dr drums faster that means for the uh trolls to row harder so that the ship will go faster and stuff I don't know I'm I'm guessing that's what it's for and that's uh, I heard something that's supposed to be like that someone else I forgot but yeah start off with showing you the dragon uh <clears throat> He's got this nice green color. Looks cool. He's a good dragon too. He's not like the evil dragon from the skeleton tower in the castle. Uh, a long tail with uh, some gold at the end. His wings. I like his wings because he's got this bright goldish yellowish um, <clears throat> shade on that too. Uh, his head is pretty cool. Uh, his body also has armor plating on it. So does his head. Uh, these white spikes you have to put on. Then he's got this long green spike that sticks down. Show you a comparison. Uh, before I put the knight on, show you a comparison of the two dragons. This one comes with this set, and then this one. This one comes from the uh, <coughs> skeleton tower. He's uh, a bit different because his colors. Everything else is the same for their heads. So. He's red and black. Got the same towel, same body and neck and legs and arms and wings. The only thing different is their heads, like I said. Um his head he's got the armor plating on and he has one spike that goes down. While him in the other hand he has the 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 five spikes, the three small ones and two up the uh, bigger ones that go stick up. So that's a pretty cool little difference. <clears throat> Here's the knight, I'll show you uh how to put it on the dragon, what it looks like. like this pretty cool I mean I think it would make more sense to have him like jousting on a horse than a dragon it's kinda hard for him to like jab the jousting stick or whatever if he's like aiming for the trolls but whatever it's cool it works <clears throat> that's one thing I like about this set they include a nice <clears throat> dragon and a knight rather than just it being a completely set with only trolls so it's pretty cool He's a dwarf. 
Um, next I'll show you the two little boats that the boats that the ship co comes with. <clears throat> you detach it from this thing. You know, let's put the crossbow back on. Like that. Yeah, it's pretty cool because the crossbow is. So, so it's, it's it's your just your basic boat, but with a crossbow and a, a spike. You just take your trolls and put them on like that. <clears throat> We're ready for battle. To go and raid whatever maybe they're attacking an island or castle or whatever. I pref I prefer to put two in each ship instead of just stack. I mean boat stack instead of stacking them up on one place. But yeah, pretty cool. I like how they have like more than just one thing that goes on the water. Pretty nice that they added that. Next, um, well, I'll show you the inside. Uh, there we are. You can see there's well, there's the back little hole, sort of window kind of thing. There's a, a random gray rat in there. I don't know. Probably to show like the ship's kind of dirty and not too taken care of. I mean, because they're only trolls and stuff. But I don't know. It's weird, but I can see how it makes sense. Um, these things right here, you put your swords in them, and then there's two more right there too. So it's pretty cool. Uh, let's see what else. Oh yes, the, the, there's the drum right there that the giant troll is supposed to hit. <coughs> to kind of command the trolls, smaller ones, to roll the boat harder so that the ship will travel faster. Uh, those, these are the weird drumsticks that he uses to hit the drum. Take them out, show you what he looks like with his little club thing. Here's his club. And like that, kind of a small club. But I don't know, it's it's bigger than swords. I think works. Pretty cool. Uh, well, oh yeah, the uh, uh, paddle things. Let me show you. Just take stuff off of him. Get him into a little sitting-like position. Like. that. There we go. Now he's paddling the boat. That's that. Uh, the catapult feature. I like the catapult feature. It's pretty cool. Oh, before I go on to that, this part right here, it's a little, like, a ram thing. It's got the spikes right there, and all right here. Pretty cool. It, it's sturdy, so it stays on it well. That's another thing I like about the set. It's sturdy. It doesn't come off too easily. Unless if you, like, yank something, but other than that, it's sturdy. It's how it should be. Uh, the catapult now. <clears throat> Here's the troll that operates it. Get into a sitting position. Like that. Now I'm going to show you how to fire the catapult. So you just pull this little thing back. You want the fire torch things. Whoops. Fire in the ship. Um, pretty cool. Whoops. That's another neat little function. So it's pretty cool how they have that. Uh, here are the flags. It's like a cloth-like material. Here's the troll symbol. The crow's nest thing. The flag right there. Put a troll right there so you can see the dragon when it's incoming. Uh, and then, like, basically last feature of the set. This thing, little net right here. Oh wait, I forgot to show you the how you put the troll in the cage. You could take this cage off, but... Like, uh, man, like this. <laughs> pretty simple. Put the troll inside. I mean the door. Sorry. Yeah. Like this. I mean, see them back there. Like that. Pretty cool. There's a key right here, so you can like use that to unlock the cage door and free them. Anyways, this thing right here, this little net, or the string. It's kind of a complicated thing, but you have to like tie it good so it'll stay put and tight. Yeah. Uh, you, this little switch thing right here, you turn it this way so that it will lower, and 